Jacob, good to see you. Good to see you too. Good little point guard. How tall are you, Jacob? Six foot even. Man, you're taller than people think you are. <laughs> I thought all the crutch fields were like five eight, five nine. Man, six feet. You got some height to carry there. That's not yes, bad. Sir. Yes, hey, sir. Hey, your brother. You had a brother, right? Yes, sir. How tall is he? He's like five nine. I knew he's big. He played at Southeast, right? Yes, sir. What was his first name? His first name, first, Joshua. Josh Crutchfield and Jacob Crutchfield. Yes, sir. So the Crutchfield man is in the house. Uh, looking forward to that Haco tournament next week. Yes, sir. Really excited. What's the big thing you like about the Haco? What makes that a fun uh, event for you guys? It get a lot of like exposure, like let everybody in the city get to see you play. Some people, everybody can't make it during the season, so it gives people the chance to come out and see a show. Now you want to do well in the tournament. No, what's yes, Smith going to do to win the whole thing? Because the Z used to go unless you go to win it. Right. We just got to play with energy and rebound and play defense at high intensity, and we, we'll be able to win it. I feel like we got the talent to win. Definitely got talent. And you guys have got Gamble, you got Ganey, you got Crunch Food, you got Hayes, you got uh, Bigelow. Yes, sir. I mean, you'll have Pratt. Pratt's moved on, but Bigelow's really doing he's a good feeling, job. Yeah, he's feeling in real good, real good. He had that one game, like 43 points yes, and maybe 14 rebounds. Yes, sir. Game that night. What's he's been your best game so far this year uh, for your numbers, you think? My best game so far was probably like 23 points. 23 points so far. How many assists? Uh, probably like four or five. Leave a lot of the assists to Hayes. Hayes gets a lot of assists too. How big was that win against Southwest a week ago tonight? Because you were one of the huge factors in that game. Yes, sir. Um, it was a really big win. Um, all week we talked about uh, beating the man because, you know, they won the state championship last year. And that was a big that was a big win for us, you know. That was a big win for us. And, How about the big move? It's going to be big there. How about when you head down the road, when you hit it up with the uh, the team in Fayetteville, what's that going to be like? You go to the Broncos. Yes, sir. I'm really excited to play with them. Um, I feel like that's a great fit for me, and I feel like yeah, I'll be able to display my talents and be able to fit in real well with the team there. And I love the coaches and the rest of the players there. How did you get connected with Fayetteville State? Who was the contact down there? How did they take an interest in you? Um, Coach Sean McCain, he's been um, really, really involved in my family. Uh, my brother, he was assistant coach when my brother went and played in Ohio Valley um, over there at his school. So um, when he came and recruited um, at a tournament I had, uh, me and my parents, we remembered his face. And he came and talked to me. He didn't really know exactly who I was at the time, but he said he really liked my game. and. Uh, it was like more of a family feel when I went up there and saw him. Already felt like a, a, a kinship almost, yes. like you guys were related. You think about uh, Fayetteville State, looking forward to that, but you got unfinished business here at Smith. You guys yes, want to uh, win, win the conference regular season, want to win the conference tournament, want to win the HACO, want to win the States, why not win yes, it all? But uh, HACO next week is a guard. You're hitting that court. Game one against Northwest, yes, what are you sir. looking at taking that first game? Um, just looking to lead the team and uh, be very aggressive on both ends of the floor and um, making sure everybody on my team has energy and being aggressive and just being together as a team so we can win it all. I asked Emma Hurd about this earlier, about her free throw shooting. Right. I said, how many times you dribbled the foul line? She said, on the first shot, she'll dribble twice. On the second shot, she dribbles once. How many dribbles at the free throw line for you? I take two every time. Two every time? Every time. Bang, bang, and shoot. Since middle school, it's been the same routine. Is there any pause in there? Is this uh, It's two dribbles, a pause, a deep breath, and follow through. And your percentage has got to be probably, what, 90% maybe now? Um, 86 right now. <laughs> <laughs> all 86, and none bigger than the ones last Thursday night, right? Yes, sir. How does it feel to be at the line late the game? And the, the, some of say the pressure's on. Some people love the pressure. Um, but the game is on the line. You're up there. How's that feel? Really, I, I mean, I love it. You know, as soon as I got fouled, going to the line, I knew. I pretty much knew it was. You know, the game's in my hands, and I love the pressure so much. Like I felt like it, I have the right guy to have the ball in my hands on the line. You've been there once, at least, maybe twice. You'd I've love to be back there again, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah, I love it so much. Do you like to be flying as an eagle as opposed to back in the day be flying as a falcon? You've gotten used to this eagle thing now. Yeah. I really love um, I love Smith so much. One of the best decisions I've ever made. The coaching staff and the players are great. Um, and the coaches really they really do take a 
take, take into consideration of the players, everybody that plays for our team are basketball players. They want to go to college for basketball. And um, not only is it about winning, it's about going, getting people to graduate and going to the next level, whether it be just academic or athletic. So they help us in both on both sides, not just on the court. And it's been kind of like a family at Smith, too, for you, right? Because with yeah. Coach Partee, Coach Waddell, Coach Irv, all those guys, you guys like a big family. Yeah, we do. We hang out so much, and we get along so well. And everything we do is together as a, as a unit. We go out to eat, go do other activities. We went to break out a couple, like a month ago, and did some team bonding and stuff. And we just like we just like to have fun and win games. How about that trip to Illinois? What was that? Was that a good trip uh, for you? That, that was great. That good was experience. great for us. That was a really good experience for us. Uh, we got to play against some different competition outside the state. Uh, got to, especially for me, get to see some different guards. You know, you know, up up there is like it's like a different type of different type of intensity they play with on the defensive end and offensive end. So we really had to come together. We found out a lot of stuff about our team that can, that helped us when we came back to North Carolina. Who's the best guard you've ever seen or maybe ever played against, you um, think? I think you've seen a lot of good ones. I've seen a lot of good ones. The best guard I've probably ever played against, um, uh, man, probably AAU. Uh, probably... Oh, no, there's a lot of good ones. Maybe around locally. Let's look at local. the local lines and Yeah, make it easier. Uh, Greensboro. Probably the best guard I ever played against was... Mm, probably John John. He's more of a wing, but... I call him a guard. He's John John from Greensboro Day. So John Newman? Yeah, he's probably one of the best. He's tough because that yeah, guy's got a lot of length, tough. too. He really has a lot of length. And he, get, he gets after it. Yeah, and he flows well. I watch him play. It's, like, it's kind of silly when I say this. I'm watching a ballerina. He's just got so much flow to his game. Mm -hmm. And he hops around, moves around. It's almost like, sometimes almost like effortless. Right. Plus, he's got that pull up shot. He, got a good, he has a really good, aggressive game to him. And he likes, he just plays hard all around. He's just a really good, fundamentally sound player. How far do you think this Smith team can go this season? Let's be honest. I feel like we can win it all. State championship. I feel like this is the year we should, we can do it. We're all together. We have great talent. We have great chemistry. And we all love each other. We're all together. And I feel like if we get together and play great defense and rebound, we have a chance to beat anybody. What's the most important game on your schedule right now? Greensboro Day in, in Haco. When we get to the championship. And even more important that is your who do you have round one? Round we have Northwest. That's your most that's, that's the one right now. You gotta be Northwest. Yes sir. Uh, you, have you done any preliminary research on them? You know much about yeah, them we, going in? We played Northwest. We played Northwest already. You've seen them already? At home. Yes sir. You beat them pretty well? Yes sir. Did you have a good game that night? Yes sir. Any good guards in that team we should watch out for? You're going um, Tristan Perry. He's a he's a good guard. Let me ask you, you may know this better than me, because I'm gonna ask you, you may know you can help me. Is he a Greensboro Day transfer? Yeah, he's a good His name sounds transfer. familiar. Yeah, you don't see many transfers, transfers from day school outside, mm -hmm. but I thought he might have been a transfer. Yeah, he's a he's a Greensboro Day transfer. He's really scrappy. He can shoot the ball pretty well. Can handle the ball pretty well. He just he just really scrappy and gets after. Do you uh, go head to head with him, or is it pretty much you guys um, kind of match up as far as whatever when you get to the game? Um, it's more of like a matchup, but like sometimes during the game, it's more like I uh, like I'll guard him. He guard me, and it's more like a guard matchup where we get after it with each other, you know. But it's all fun. Um, I've known Tristan for a long time. Um, he really gets after it. I love playing against him because he always brings the best out of me. Jacob Crutchfield, if you had to sum it all up in one big couple of words, so your experience at Smith, your basketball life, how you saw all this up? What's it been like? Um, I would say, like, words I would say was life-changing. Life-changing. Yes. I don't know what – I'll be playing basketball. I don't think I'll be playing at a higher level, uh, as high as level I am right now without Smith. I believe they bring the best out of me. They work me – work hard every day. Whether it be in the weight room or be on the court or be in school, they always, the coaches always having us get after it with each other. So it's been a life changing experience for you. Yes. Jacob, good to see you, my man. Good luck this week. Keep Thank that card respect going. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Good job by the Smith Golden Eagles and a good job by Dennis White. I think Dennis is in the house.